Police are investigating after they say a driver crashed into a tree. We're told the car caught fire after the crash and the driver did not survive. News 6's Justin Campbell has the latest. A tragic scene out here after a fiery crash leaves one person dead, sending another to the hospital while police are trying to figure out what led up to this crash. Not much left of this mangled white truck being towed after the driver lost control early Wednesday morning and crashed. As it looks right now, the car did leave the roadway and it does to, uh, appear to have struck a tree um, off of the roadway, which would be the uh, south side of the roadway. Apopka police shut down Apopka Boulevard where it happened between Danisco Place and Sugar Pine Road for hours this morning while investigating what happened. No, the car is not, not registered as stolen. It's not any, uh, no other criminal uh, factors that we're looking at at this time. But like I said, it is a very active investigation. Um, there are detectives on scene that are working that case and trying to get to the bottom of what happened. Ashley Eller, public information officer, says Apopka Boulevard, a two-lane roadway with curves, is well lit at night, but says you can do more to get results to keep yourself safe while driving down the road. When you're driving, please be mindful of your speeds, especially in the dark. You, know, you never know what, what could occur in front of you, causing you to lose you know, control of your vehicle. Um, obviously, we want anyone traveling through our city or any city to be safe. And hopefully avoid fatal crashes from happening. Reporting in Apopka, Justin Campbell getting results, News 6.